Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And this is not normally the style video I make anymore, but seeing the headlines and, you know, not really agreeing with, yeah, well, actually agreeing with the general public on this, this is the app Panels uh, by MKBHD. Well, this is the website for the app called Panels by MKBHD. If you don't know, this app is basically a wallpaper style app. Uh, it's literally pictures. And it has a subscription service built into it that is, I think, 12 bucks a month or $50 a year to access the full resolution images of, you know, whatever's available for wallpapers. Now, I had the idea. I have literally seen this image in several wallpaper apps. First of all, like it's just another wallpaper app. A lot of these actually that I've seen that are like uh, previews I've seen in other apps. Because once in a while I try to do it the lazy way and I'll download a wallpaper app myself. I wanted to do a deep dive into this application. So I managed to rip the APK off of my phone. And we're going to look at the classes.dex because that's kind of all there is to this app. So it downloads as an XAPK because that's just the standard norm anymore for Android. I already used 7-zip to rip the APK out and then I ripped the APK and I put it here. And you can see all the stuff that they're using. And a lot of people are really uncomfortable with uh, a lot of the stuff this app is asking for as far as permissions and things mkbhd swears up and down they're not actually you know stealing people's data or tracking them with their locations and yada 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 and obviously that makes sense i doubt they're doing that either it's probably just some of the uh ad functionality built into the app so i don't think people need to worry as much as they are worrying but there's a lot of weird stuff in this APK. There's like a debug stuff is left in here and the metadata stuff and Google ID files. I don't know. It's There's a lot of weirdness in here. Billing properties. So I wanted to open it up. And as you can see, I've already kind of done a little basic search to see if this was even worth it. And it looks like it definitely was worth it. Because as you can see right here, it just links to stuff straight up. So I can just like copy this. One sec, I need a window. And go straight into whatever their CDN is. Now obviously this is just um, G. Uh, I need a signature to see it. That makes sense. But this just goes to show you that it's, you know, a basic thing. So this is just a link to this website, which they're using for the CDN. This is a link to dashboard if you want to log in, whatever. But it looks like a lot of the way this is actually coded is like why these names are just hard coded, it, which is really weird. They're just like fake usernames is what I'm basically gathering. So there's the terms, the privacy. Uh, these are all the same name things. This is a Google search thing, Instagram. See, this is another. Okay, just another error. But there's a lot of ad stuff in here and it's really weird. And Tell me you just downloaded some like basic app without telling me you downloaded some basic app source code. Like seriously, this is literally still in here. It's hilarious. There's a bunch of GitHub links. It looks like monster rat. That's a licensing platform. App authorization stuff is here. There's a whole bunch of weirdness in here, man. I really don't get it. I don't understand why some of this is here. All of this is in here. This is a bunch of GitHub links to a whole bunch of different stuff, like Square and all that. Let's see, what are you? 
doesn't say. Not a big deal. What are you? Google mobile ad stuff. Not a big deal there. API key that is not recognized. Hmm. What is... This sounds interesting. API cat or something like that. Ah, uh, this is for probably purchasing the uh, the app. API paywalls, revenue cat. Yeah, this makes sense. API diagnostic. What in the world? Why would this be left in here? What is this? Oh, you got to log in. I mean, it makes sense. At least it's not just wide open. Do not find product details. Errors.rev.cat. Ah, it's a bit.ly link. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, Lord, he's cheaped out as much as possible on this thing, hasn't he? Panels API and Google support. Support.google.com, premium answers. What is this? Let's see what this is. I had to pause for a minute. Random cat hair just flew into my mouth, and that was gross. So, yeah, didn't like that. Oh, it just pushes you to this. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's see if I find anything interesting, and then I'll come back to you guys. Well, that didn't take long. Um, I managed to find some stuff. I don't know what it is. But apparently, I don't understand how the stuff works, but there's links here and like content metadata, folder data, you can go through here, folder MKBHD is the name, Marquez, MKBHD, Marquez, Brownlee, Heath, Marcus, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Interesting. Those are folder names. These are artist names. So you can actually see their real names and stuff, which is interesting. And then there's remix data. I don't know what this means. Snowy Mountain artist name. So everything is hard coded. And actually, I really do have a hard time believing that some of these people actually exist. So like, let's take this, a squiggle, well that doesn't bring up anything, that, ma that makes sense, that it doesn't bring up anything. So we're going to look at artist names, see if this is a real person, freelance writer, MKBHD. Okay, somebody that works for MKBHD, it looks like. Got it. But it looks like, yeah, all this stuff is just plain text here, which is just really worries me about how this app works. There's like search terms for the way you search the app. That's interesting. That didn't exist. Well, it does, but I don't know the end of the URL. And then these are like wallpaper links, sort of. You have to know how to decrypt the information for this, but you can see that the width and the height of the file is 4,000 by 3,000. Uh, is not a dark type. Um, but there's a whole, there's parallax to it, which is cool. Parallax is sweet. As you can see, there's previews, the standard, and then it has this hash and this ID. So not yet have I figured out where the images actually are, but I'm getting close and we know that he uses Google storage for this. So I'm going to continue browsing around and I'll let you guys know what I find here in the future. We are getting closer. I found a video hard coded, a hard coded link. And then I also found this weird gradient file, but like I said, I'll continue to dig. Ooh, there's something Marquez doesn't tell anybody. Is AI enhanced? I haven't seen him talk about any AI stuff with the app. 
So they're using AI to modify the images, it sounds like. Interesting thing to find. Download state. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a wallpaper app. I don't even know why I'm putting this much time into it. But it's still a wallpaper app. Like, come on. Why are you charging people so much for a wallpaper app? Search the word purchase. Is purchased. You can always set this to true and it probably cracks it. You know, wherever this is. Is unlocked via subscription. Just make it always true. There's so many ways to crack apps like this. And it looks like they didn't really care to try to fight against that. So I bet you in the coming days there will be cracked versions of this very easily. And people will just get all the wallpapers for free. Because like I said, some of this stuff I've already seen it elsewhere. So it's not really a surprise that it's, you know, just ran like this and all that. If I figure out how to download an actual image, you know, maybe I'll let people know, but I'm not going to spend too much time on a wallpaper app. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.